In this video, we'll look at the substitution and scale effects from changes in input prices. Assume a firm uses two inputs, labor and capital. If the price of one input increases, there are going to be two effects. The substitution effect, if an input becomes relatively more expensive because its price increased, the firm will use less of that input and more of the other input. The scale or output effect, a higher input price causes a firm's marginal cost to increase. A higher marginal cost means the firm will produce less output. The firm will use less of all inputs, labor and capital, at lower output levels. Let's look at a wage increase, the effect on labor. The substitution effect. The firm will use less labor and more capital because the relative price of labor, which is a wage divided by the price of capital, increased. There will be a scale or output effect. The firm will produce less output. The profit maximizing output level, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, will occur at a lower output level because of the rising marginal cost. And as a result of the firm producing less output, the firm does not need to use as many inputs. So the firm will use less labor and less capital at lower output levels. The substitution effect and the scale effect move in the same direction. Labor demand curves, in other words, slope downwards. Now let's look at a wage increase and its effect on capital. Once again, we have a substitution effect. The firm will use more capital because capital is relatively less expensive following a wage increase. There will also be a scale effect. The firm will produce less output because of a higher marginal cost. So when wages go up, marginal costs rise, and the firm will produce less output. At lower output levels, the firm simply does not need to use as many inputs, so the firm will use less capital at lower output levels. For capital, the substitution effect and scale effect from a wage increase move in the opposite direction. If the firm uses more capital following the wage increase, the substitution effect is larger or dominates the scale effect. On the other hand, if the firm uses less capital following the wage increase, it must mean that the scale effect dominates the substitution effect. Let's look at two possibilities between labor and capital following a wage increase. Labor and capital could be gross substitutes. Here, the substitution effect and scale effect both lead the firm to use less labor. And for capital, if the substitution effect dominates the scale effect and the firm uses more capital following this wage increase, we're dealing with gross substitutes. So the use of labor and capital are changing the opposite direction. We have gross substitutes. The firm is using less labor but more capital following the wage increase. Now let's look at the possibility of labor and capital being gross complements. So once again for labor, the substitution effect and scale effect following a wage increase both lead the firm to use less labor. As for capital, the scale effect if it dominates the substitution effect, the firm will use also less capital. So the use of labor and capital are moving in the same direction in this example, and that occurs again when the inputs are said to be gross complements. The firm is using less labor and less capital following the wage increase. Okay, I'll stop here.